Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to use big screen with your Oculus Quest 2 in order to do a virtual hangout. You and other friends will be able to enter into a virtual room that's a movie theater, an outside campfire, an indoor home setting, and you'll be able to watch all the same screen at the same time. Now, before I show you the tutorial, let me first put on my Quest headset. And with my Quest 2 on and big screen already connected, you can kind of get a little preview of what it's going to be. So here you can choose your environment. I chose this campfire. If I had other people hanging out with me and logged into this private room, they could actually sit here next to me on that log or that log. And we could all watch the same thing at the same time. So whether it's Netflix, whether it's YouTube, whether it's any videos or photos that are on my computer, anything that's on my computer, people will be able to hang out with me. So now let me show you guys that I actually set this up. So the first thing we're going to do is download Steam. So on any web browser, search Steam client. And usually the top one is what you're looking for, store.steampowered.com. So I'm going to click on this first one. And then so here you'll see Steam, click on install Steam. This can work on either Mac or Windows. I'm using Windows. Then go ahead and install it. So once you've completed installing, run Steam. It's going to have to do a little update that might take a little bit of time depending on your internet speed. And now here you're going to either need to create a new account or log into an existing. So once you've launched and you're logged into Steam, go to the search and type in big screen beta. And then you'll see it there. It should be at the top. Go ahead and click on that. And then click on play. And then here it's going to ask you if you want to create a desktop shortcut, create start menu shortcut, do whatever you want. I'm going to leave just the start menu, click next, and then finish. You see here at the bottom, it's downloading zero out of two items. All right, now that it's downloaded, you see in the bottom right corner, it says Steam has finished downloading big screen beta. Now we can go ahead and launch big screen beta. Now, if you get this pop up right here that says big screen requirements not met, this thing here is pretty much saying that it's trying to run the VR through your computer, which is not a VR system. So you're going to have to exit out of this and you're going to have to select a different option when launching big screen. It's very important to know that you're not going to launch big screen from your computer. So you're not going to go into your start menu or your shortcut and launch it from the computer. What you need to do once it's downloaded, go to library in Steam. Then from there, click on big screen under your games and then once you're in the big screen menu, click play from here. Once you're here, then you're going to get these three options. Launch big screen beta in Steam VR mode, launch big screen beta in Oculus VR mode, or play remote desktop streaming client. If you don't launch it from Steam, if you launch it from your computer, you're not going to get these three options and you're going to get some pop up that tells you you can't use it. So now that we have these three options, you're going to select play remote desktop streaming client. So check that, click play. Then you're going to have a little pop up that says install driver for the audio driver. Click on that and continue driver installed. So now that we have the big screen remote desktop, now let's go into our Oculus Quest. All right. So now we're in the Oculus Quest 2. If you don't already have big screen downloaded, go into the store and download big screen beta. I already have it on here, so I'm going to open it. Now we're going to click on my room and then we're going to go to the left on remote desktop. Then click on start. And then right here, it tells you how to connect. It says enter the following code. So this is a code that you're going to enter on your computer, on your PC. Now, every time you use big screen, you're going to have a different room code. And you can also change the stream resolution. So depending on your internet speed, you might want to switch between 480, 1080p, 720. But we're going to change it to 1080p. Now, refresh audio sources. If an app's audio isn't working, you can click on this and it'll kind of refresh it and make things kind of work better. Now you can choose connect. And we are connected. So now you see back here, this is actually my desktop, what I'm showing you guys. So to get rid of this remote desktop pop up, click the little joystick on your control. So here what you're seeing here right now, this is exactly what is being shown on my desktop. So if I want to make any changes to what is being seen on the big screen, I would actually do it on the desktop. So whether I go to Google Chrome and go to YouTube, go to Netflix, watch a video that's already on my computer, it's all done through the computer. Now, if I want to move this around, I can just move this screen around wherever I want. But if I want to put it on the actual big screen, 
I would click on this little icon here. It's like a big screen with a small screen. So click on that and boom, now you see it on the big screen. And you see here, we got a little fireplace. We got some seats for other guests. Now, if you wanna get rid of the small screen that's right in front of you, so that way you can only see the big screen, you're gonna click on this little arrow right here. Now that's gonna hide it. Now, if you wanna pop it back up, click the joystick in once again, and then here you'll see the remote desktop. And then if you want to get that home menu again, click on remote desktop. And then you're gonna click on show personal monitor. Click on that. And then we can click on the right joystick once again. And here we are once again, we have this back. Now I wanna change my environment. I don't wanna be in my super baller house. Click in the joystick button once again. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to my room. If you don't see this and you're in a different page, click on watch and then go back to my room once again. And then you'll have this full menu set up here. And then here on the left, you can see environments. So we're gonna choose that. And now you can choose a variety of environments. I wanna to go to a retro cinema because I love movie theaters and I want some vintage style movie theater. So we're gonna let that load up. And here you see on the big screen, the screen is bigger than the one in the house, which is awesome. But if I look around, you can see I'm in a movie theater. How sick is that? That is so dope. And another great thing about this is you can actually have this room set up for multiple people. So if you had other guests with you, you could actually have them sit in seats next to you. Or if they don't like you that much, they can go sit somewhere else. Again, anything that you control on your computer, video and audio, it'll display on this big screen. So it makes Hangouts really awesome because you can pretty much watch anything that the host wants to put on their computer. All right, so here on the computer, I am actually now going to put something on YouTube and we're gonna go to our channel and we're gonna watch one of our videos. And now anybody can watch this. It's time to make the world know and recognize the hyphen it. I'm here to kill the game, katana, blade, tongue, slicing it. Now one more time, I'm gonna change the environment. I'm gonna click on the joystick button once again. We're gonna go to environments and let's go to, let's go to the woods. Oh man, all these other movie theater ones look really dope. Okay, let's go to the woods though. And look at that. We got an outdoor movie theater, campfire. If we can look up and see the stars. Oh, look, do you know what constellation that is up there? Just kidding, I don't know. And there you guys have it. That's how you use big screen to have a virtual hangout with other people and share whatever is on your computer screen. Any video, photo, any web browser, anything that your computer sees, you can share it with other people, video and audio. If you guys are interested in getting the Oculus Quest 2, I do have a link in the description where you can purchase it from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.